So now let's see how we can use custom shapes for particles inside of Blender. So in order to use custom shapes as particles, let me just bring in a shape first. And to do that, I'm going to press Shift A on my keyboard, and then I'm going to go around into mesh, and over here, Taurus is an option. So I'm just going to uh, use this as a custom shape for the project. So I'm going to click on Taurus, and this is what you have. So you can go around, increase and decrease the, uh, the uh, segments right here, change this out according to what you like. So I'm just going to change around the radius a bit bigger, just like this. So I'm just going to use this custom shape as a particle. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and then I'm going to uh, go around and add this onto a collection. So I'm just going to hit M on my keyboard. That is uh, M for mango. And I'm going to click on new collection and I'm going to name this collection as, let's say, for example, Donut. I hope I got the spelling right. So I'm just going to go around and press OK. And you can see that there's a Donut collection with Taurus on it right here. So now I'm just going to hide this out right here, just like this, uh, so that I don't see the collection there. So I'm going to add in an emitter right here. So I'm going to press Shift A on my keyboard, and then I'm going to click on UB Sphere, and this is what I have. So if I were to uh, add in a particle to this, I can go around over here on to Particle Properties, and then I can click on the plus button right here. So once I do that, you can see that the particle has been added in. So I'm just going to go around and then pull this up over here, just like this. And I'm just going to go around, navigate up. And there you go. This is the particle that I have. But right now, by default, you can see that the particle are all spheres. So what I want is I want them to be the donut shape. That is the torus. So I'm going to go around into... Uh, the render right here. So right now you can see it, it says render as hollow. So I'm just going to render it as collection right here. And I need to select the collection. So over here on the bottom, I'm going to select the donut collection. And now you can see instead of the spheres, I got the donut. So I can press the play button and you can see that all of the donuts just fall around right here. Just like that are as the emitters right here. So you can see that all of them are falling out right there. And now all of them are, are falling out without being rotated, as you can see. So you can simply go on to the rotation as well and then randomize the rotation right here. And now let's see how that looks. So right now, now what happens is that all of the uh, donut particles, that is the torus, it rotates around uh, randomly and then falls out and looks much more natural. And that is how you can use custom shapes for particles inside of Blender. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.